Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to calculate the area of this triangle RST. We have the of this side PQ given to be 12 units. The of this line segment is 4 units. This line PS is an angle bisector of this triangle. We see this angle RST is a right angle. And here also, this angle QPR is also a right angle. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of this triangle RST? It is very simple. We observe a right angle in it. That implies that it is a right angle triangle. Formula for calculating the area of a triangle is 1 over 2 base times height. And in the case of a right angle triangle, the perpendicular sides are the base and the height. So here, if we let this be base say B, this must be the height say C. So area of triangle RST equal to 1 over 2 BH. What are the values of B and H? We don't know. Just come here. Draw a line segment that will connect this point Q and this R. Now look at this triangle PQR. It is also a right angle triangle. We use the Pythagorean theorem on it. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle which is this here. Assume its length to be x. So by Pythagoras, x squared equal to 12 squared plus 4 squared. 12 squared is 144 and 4 squared is 16. 144 plus 16 is 160. So x squared equal to 160. Take the square root of both sides of the equation here square root of x squared is x while here square root of 160 since 160 is 16 times 10 it will be square root of 16 times root 10 square root of 16 is 4 4 times root 10 is 4 root 10 so x equal to 4 root 10 that is the length of this line segment is 4 root 10 recall this line PS is an angle bisector of this triangle that is it bisects this angle QPT which is a right angle therefore this angle and this each are going to be half 90 degrees which is 45 degrees now let's look at this quadrilateral this here is a right angle and this is also a right angle they are opposite to each other. 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 480 degrees. That is a property of a cyclic quadrilateral. That opposite angles are supplementary. So therefore, this quadrilateral PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral, meaning its vertices lie on the circumference of a cycle. Now look at this angle and this. Both are subtended by this arc here to the circumference. And we know an arc subtends the same angle to any point on the circumference of the same cycle. That is, the two angles are congruent. So since this is 45 degrees, this must also be 45 degrees. Same is for this angle and this. Both are subtended by the same arc to the circumference. That makes them congruent. So since this is 45 degrees, this must also be 45 degrees. Now look at this triangle RST. It is a right angle triangle and two of its angles are congruent. That makes it an isosceles right angle triangle, meaning this side 
and thus are congruent. So since this is B, this must also be B. We use the Pythagorean theorem on the triangle. Since this is the hypotenuse, the square of its length, 4 root 10, must be equal to summation of the squares of this B and this B. So 4 root 10 all squared equal to B squared plus A squared. 4 root 10 all squared is 4 root 10 times 4 root 10, which is 16 times 10, that is 160. B squared plus B squared is 2B squared. So 160 equal to 2B squared. 160 is the same as 80 times 2. This 2 cancels this 2. So 80 equal to B squared. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here square root of B squared is B. While he square root of 80. Since 80 is 16 times 5. Square root of 16 times 5 is 4 root 5. So B equal to 4 root 5. That is the length of this side and this are 4 root 5 each. Substitute the value of B here. 1 over 2 times 4 root 5 times h is 2 h root 5. So area of triangle RST equal to 2 h root 5. Now what is the value of h? We don't know. Okay. Come here. Assume the size of this angle to be theta. Now from this triangle, since it is a right angle triangle and this is theta, based on the rule, that the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. This must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus theta. 180 minus 90 is 90. So it is 90 degrees minus theta. This triangle also is a right angle triangle. So since this angle is theta, this must be 90 degrees minus theta. Now since this triangle has its angles to be 90 degrees, theta and 90 degrees minus theta and this also has its angles to be 90 degrees theta and 90 degrees minus theta that proves that the two triangles are similar so if we take the ratio of their sides this side facing angle 90 degrees minus theta divided by this side pt also facing angle 90 degrees minus theta let it be c must be equal to this side facing angle theta divided by this side also facing angle theta. So h over z equal to 4 root 5 over 12. This 12 is 4 times 3. This 4 cancels this 4. Root 5 over 3 is same as 1 over 3 root 5. So h over z equal to 1 over 3 root 5. Multiply both sides of the equation by z. Here z cancels c, while he 1 over 3 root 5 times c is 1 over 3 z root 5. So h equal to 1 over 3 z root 5. That is, this side st is 1 over 3 z root 5. Now back to this side pt, its length is assumed to be z, but this part of it is 4. Therefore, this part must be z minus 4. Now look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. We can use the Pythagorean theorem on it. This is the hypotenuse. So the square of its length must be equal to the summation of the squares of this 4 root 5 and this 1 over 3 z root 5. So z minus 4 all squared equal to 4 root 5 all squared plus 1 over 3 z root 5 all squared. z minus 4 all squared is z minus 4 times z minus 4, which is z times z minus 4 minus 4 times z minus 4. z times z minus 4 is z squared minus 4z. Minus 4 times z minus 4 is minus 4z plus 16. Minus 4z minus 4z is minus 8z. So it is z squared minus 8z plus 16. Here, 4 root 5 all squared is 4 root 5 times 4 root 5, which is 16 times 5. That is 80. While here, 
1 over 3z root 5 all squared is 1 over 9 times z squared times 5, which is 1 over 9 into 5z squared. So z squared minus hc plus 16 equal to ad plus 1 over 9 into 5z squared. Multiply both sides of the equation by 9. Here z squared minus hc plus 16 all multiplied by 9 is 9z squared minus 72z plus 144. While here ad plus 1 over 9 into 5z squared all multiplied by 9 is 720 plus 5z squared. Now take these to the left side of the equation. 9z squared minus 5z squared is 4z squared. Plus 144 minus 720 is minus 576. So 4z squared minus 72z minus 576 equal to 0. Multiply through by 1 over 4. Here 4z squared times 1 over 4 is z squared. Minus 72z times 1 over 4 is minus 18z. Minus 576 divided by 4 is minus 144. So z squared minus 18z minus 144 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve by factorization. This 18z can be written as plus 6z minus 24z. Now here, z squared plus 6z, we can factor out z. So it is z into z plus 6. While here, minus 24z minus 144, we can also factor out minus 24. So it is minus 24 into z plus 6. From here, we see z plus 6 is common. We factor it out, so it is z plus 6 all multiplied by z minus 24 equal to 0. That is z plus 6 equal to 0 or z minus 24 equal to 0. If we make z the subject of the formula, z equal to minus 6 or z equal to 24. z is the length of the side. It can't be a negative number. We discard this. So z equal to 24. Come here, substitute its value. 1 over 3 times 24 is 8. 8 times root 5 is 8 root 5. So h equal to 8 root 5. Come here, substitute it. 8 root 5 times root 5 is 8 times 5, which is 40. 2 times 40 is 80. So area of triangle RST equal to 80 square units. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.